Now, hang on, turn the ceiling fan on. I'm getting a little bit wired up. Now, let me tell you, I know people say, well, Terry, how did you count this? I don't want to count this. I don't want to measure this. I don't want to weigh this. I have people who, in my personal life, and they're the same way. And you know what I say? You have to. You have to. If you want to lose weight, you have to. You have to count. You have to weigh. You have to measure. You have to everything. You can't just say, well, I'm going to go out and eat here, and I'm going to go out to eat here, and I'm going to just randomly eat this thing and randomly eat that thing and expect to lose weight. This is a hard conversation. You cannot just not put work into it. Hello, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Thank you for watching. It's a hot mess, but I've shown you all before how I pull things out of the freezer. Um, I typically just grab one of something and one of something. I never know what's in it. I just grab two things and I set them onto my refrigerator. And when I do that, I also pull out one of my breakfast casseroles. And so I don't need to get any right now, but what I wanted to show you, and those of you have, you have been watching me a long time, you know I have a rotation and it's up here on my top shelf. And then I go one, two, three, four. So it's like a square and this, if you're looking at this, only this way. So right here, this is day one, this is day two, this is day three, and this is day four. So tonight, it's not in there right now because I did something earlier. Um, but, so this is actually day one because I didn't shift it. So I'm going to pull all this out and set it up to the side a minute. So then what happens is this is, this is the old one, and so that moves into day into one slot this back here is going to go into two slot this right here i pulled out and what is it oh a ground beef and a chicken that's going to go back in the back in the three slot and this is a chicken well it needs something else to go with it so Tearing stuff up. Um, okay, I'll put this with it. So I put this back here. So I eat one, two, three, four. So now tomorrow I'll pull this out and keep the rotation going. The reason why I do this is then as things defrost, this thing, by the time I eat it, should have been in my refrigerator for four days. Um, but also then I also pull out sides so let's see, making sure I thought I put, okay, so these are all side dishes, and these, you can't see it, these are all a bunch of side dishes, so like this one, that looks like it's green beans and, green beans and what you call it, um, that I made at Easter, so I'm just grabbing one, and I'll put it back here. And I'll go on there. And then I grab another side dish. It looks like some kind of, I don't know, maybe, probably, pro, yeah, probably mashed rutabaga. That would be my guesstimate. So then I take it and I stick it back here. So I'm giving myself two main meals and a side. Two main meals and a side. So possibly what I'll do on the days that I have chicken. Oh, sorry. On the days that I have chicken back there, I may have it on a salad, or I may have it on, I may decide to cook something with it. You never know with me. So anyway, but so they're pulled out. So tomorrow's Friday, and that's over here on the counter. This is Saturday and Sunday. I'm not going to pull out a breakfast casserole for those two days, because I cooked those two days. But I do need one for, that will be Monday, and that will be Tuesday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So that's the rotation. And then I've got down below, I've got veggies. So I'll have salads and whatever else I might have. This, I had a half of an apple with supper tonight. I forgot to tell you all that, but you know, 
I'm not perfect. Um, get on there. I might take that. I don't know. We'll see. I might take that tomorrow. Nah, I'll just leave it in there for tomorrow night. Okay, now let's move over to let's move over to the counter. Oh, this counter is a hot mess. But so each evening I pull out the whole stack and I set it down and I analyze it. I'm like, all right. What are my options? So that's a side of, I've got an R on top of it. So that's a side of rutabaga. I've got some ground beef. And I have some chicken fried chicken. So what I'm thinking is tomorrow, I'm going to put the ground beef in the refrigerator and I'll have that for supper. So I'll leave this out. So hold on. So... I've been doing this every day with these. Let's see if I have any more. I have this one. I hope it'll fit in that. Uh, I'll put it in this one. It's my egg. And like I said in yesterday's video, the egg is very soggy, which I don't mind it. To me, it's like just juicy and I, I just eat it, but it's very moist and so, and the, the juice just drains right out of the dealy. Dealy being Ziploc bag. Um, I pull out my lunch box and I set her down. Now, if I was going to do anything like make anything, so say I had my ground beef, just like I did in yesterday's video, if I was going to make up something, everything sits on the scale always when I was counting calories. Everything I did was setting it on the scale because you have to weigh every single piece it's very important um so chicken fried chicken let's take a look because you know I, I told you this the other day um meal prep terry on chicken fried chicken day was not nice to future terry because meal prep day terry did not cut things up into bite-sized pieces See if these scissors are sharp enough. I don't, I'm not gonna hold my breath. Oh, hot diggity. I need to get a new pair of these things. They are pretty, like whenever I go to cut, like like I used to cut my steaks and stuff with them, but um, they got a lot more dull. Uh, I need to figure out, I think I can sharpen them on my little sharpener thingy that I have. I just haven't tried it yet. So. Lou's doing good. Um, so, you know, they, he was at daycare today. They said he did really good. He didn't have any issues. And uh, boy, I could scoot y'all up here. Sorry about that. All right, now, now we're cooking. Um, so they said he didn't have any problems. He's been home all evening. And um, I've been controlling the amount of water that I have down. and. You know, not dehydrating the poor guy. I give him drinks. I, I, you know, let, I put some water in there. I just don't let him drink for 30 minutes solid like he did last night. But um, he did good at daycare. They didn't have any issues with him. And all evening, they've all been tired. They're always tired when they go to daycare. And I don't have them go, they don't go any set days or anything. That's just kind of like, Typically, like, I wake up and I think, mm, yep, today's going to be a good daycare day for them. No particular reason for why I take them when I do. Um, they love, love, love daycare. When I take them, I mean, they sing. They know where they're going. They know from the minute they get in that car. Well, they hope from the, oh, they hope from the minute they get in the car that that's where they're going. But that's really the only place I take all of them. I have taken them for a drive a couple times since I got the new vehicle. And, um, but typically they only get in there because they know, or they only get in there because we're going to daycare. Oh, hey, that's a bone. Good catch, Terry Bear. Good catch. All right, well, I don't know where it went. Oh, right there. Because I want to scoop the rest of this jute or the rest of this little bit of gravy in here. It's not much. And I do remember that when I had this the other day, I had to add salt to it. 
Because if you remember, meal prep day wasn't very smart. Meal prep day Terry, she didn't put any salt and stuff in her seasonings. Lesson learned, she will, future Terry will do that, but meal prep day was not very thoughtful about things. Hang on, I gotta wipe this off here. All right, now, so here we go. We have the country fried chicken. We have the rutabaga. It looks like that was fried rutabaga, so I'm not gonna season it. I'll just let it go because I don't know what I seasoned it with. Then I have my egg casserole and my yogurt. So in the morning, I will get a fork and spoon from work and then uh, I'll eat that. And then I got this so I can shovel quickly my other stuff. And I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. No, no, I'm gonna put an apple in there. I got an Envy apple, got that at, at the Walmart. But you know what, I've got two of these left. This is an Envy one also. These are the last ones from the from our daily, the, our work daily. So I'm gonna take these and I'll stick them in there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have that. You know what else I think I'm gonna take? Let me just show you what I'm gonna take. No particular reason. I just think it'd be good to have one, two, three, four, Five, six, eight. I'm going to take eight cherry tomatoes, just because. Now, tomorrow I may decide I don't want them, but they just look so pretty sitting there back behind me. So, <clears throat> all right. So, that is the end of those apples, um, of the, you know, the ones I bought for the taste test. So, what I'm going to do is, you know, I've funny whenever I first bought apples I told y'all it's not like I'm gonna eat them every day or anything you remember that if you were watching then you know I said it I sure enough said it I think that's kind of funny but um, these are big ones so so those there I've got these these are cosmic crisp and a couple envies so I'm gonna sit them back there and I've been enjoying them every day and my weight's doing fine. I'm not being triggered or anything. Um, so, so far so good, you know, in a couple weeks, who knows, I may say something different. I may feel like, guys, I feel compelled to eat the apples, but I don't feel like apples is what made me fat now. Apple, well, not apple, but uh, a fruit's what made us fall out of Eden. Thank you, Eve. But... I'm just kidding. We don't know what kind of tree it was. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't think apples made me fat. So I'm not going to stress about it. Um, so everything's going okay so far. So we will see. And yeah, so that's my meal prep. I'll see you at breakfast. Bye. We're just very successful. Hey, so my breakfast is a breakfast casserole. And I have strawberry yogurt, and that's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. See you at lunch. Lou's at home. I got his cone on, so I'll just keep an eye on him. Okay, bye. Hey, Lou. <whistles> Look at this boy. Hi, big boy. Hi, Bubba. I know. We'll get him. He just walked so poor, baby. He's just so pitiful. Poor Luber, do. But he's doing good. Hey there, it's lunchtime, and I've got my chicken fried chicken or country fried chicken, whichever you prefer. That's what I cut up last night, and I got some of the rutabaga. I don't know how I cooked it. Probably pan fried it. Mm hmm. That's good. Listen, just make whatever your side is, pitch it in the freezer, and pull it out when you're ready to eat it. You don't have to know what it is. It can be a fun surprise. Mm -hmm. Um, this apple is a little sketchy. This one looks great, but this one looks a little sketchy. It's got like some funky places all around it. So I might not, not eat any of this apple. I don't know. It's kind of got bruised. I don't know if it's bruised. I don't really know enough to know what it is. Let's see. It's all the way through. 
kind of mealy. I don't like mealy apples. Okay, so I'm going to eat one of those apples that I brought. Anyway, oh, and tomatoes. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, I have been lacking in the water department, and I really got to get my act together because this morning I had to break out a glove, and I'm having issues sitting. Now, if you're a nurse, you know what I'm saying. So I got to pour on the water because not enough water can cause issues in the backside. So this one is pineapple coconut. I've drank my, well, you're sitting on my water. I've drank it once. I need to drink more. I've just got to pour on the water for a little while. It's not bad. I've never had this flavor before. So, okay. Anyway, now you're in the loop. You probably know more than you ever wanted to know. <laughs> okay, bye. But today's Friday. It's Friday. Oh, I ran home to let the dogs out. Lou is doing fine. He's got his little cone head. I showed y'all that. Poor little boy. He just looks so beautiful. So, okay, bye. You are not even going to guess what we're going to have for supper. And no, it ain't a salad. Uh, what we're going to do is, we got, first off, we got ground beef. And then I got this empty bowl. In this empty bowl, we're going to take one of Baxter's green bean cans. Cans of green beans. And uh, I'm going to drain most of it out. And we're going to put it in here. And this, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take, oh, let me see if I have one that's open. Hang on. Nope, I got to open this one. So I'll open it right now. You can hear Camel in the background. He's on his, uh, he's, you know, been out in the Sahara for days and days and days and hasn't been able to have anything to drink. So, got my green beans here. And I'm gonna have some bacon bits. Just a little, nothing serious. And then we'll also have, I have some bacon grease that I caught last weekend when I made the bacon. I'm gonna take me a little fork. Just get just enough for a taste. Not getting carried away. Now, these green beans are unsalted. So in a little bit, I'll season them up. But for now, I'm gonna put this in the microwave for two minutes. I enjoyed my Southwestern bowl the other day, so uh, we're gonna do that again. Hang on, things are a little bit wild over here. Oh, hey, remember I told you I ate half an apple the other day? That was day yesterday, day before? I don't remember, I think it was the day before yesterday. And look, my mama was right. It's not brown. I don't remember what kind this was, but um, it's not brown. So, you can cut up an apple and put it in the refrigerator and maybe it won't go brown. Let me put this back, hang on. Okay, so we're gonna have another Mexican bowl. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put these some of these onions in here. These are so hard to open. I put them in a different container. This might hold them. Half the time I have to use my teeth to get that thing to open. So this way I can have them in here and I can, then I can just unscrew the lid and that will be fine. Now, if you're counting calories and you're counting carbs, make sure you zero, you set your thing on here. I know I got a couple onions on there, but don't you worry none about that, by George. You zero it out, and you get yourself a little spoon, and you say, mm, okay, I'm going to have 30 grams of onion. Nope, 25 grams. Hold up. Oh, corn flabbit. I did it while the spoon was in there, or the fork's in there. Here. There we go. That's 21 grams. Listen, don't zero it out when you have something in it and then take it out of it. It's not a very wise thing to do. Got to find the right lid for this. Hang on now. Where are you? Right here. All right, so there we got the onions on there. And then we're going to say, mm, what else do we want on there? Um, so yesterday when I was done, I took the salsa and that green verde and I mixed it together. So you say, okay, 
Nope, I'm gonna do it the smart way. You zero it out, and then you say, well, I want some salsa on there. Well, I want X number of grams, so I'm gonna put them on there. Alrighty. And then, whatever number of grams you got, you write it down, and then you'll remember it, that's what it is. And then you say, oh, I want some Thai sweet chili. Cause, you know, we don't care about mixing up cultures around here. We just, we're like the United Colors of Benetton. We just mix and match and have fun. Cause we don't care about that stuff. And you say, well, I think I want some guacamole and more. And we say, doo, 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 doo. nope, we go to this side. And we say, loo, 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 loo. and there we go. So that, and then we say, let's microwave this before we put on the rest of the yogurt. So I'm gonna microwave this and I'll get back with you with the green beans. And then we say, ooh, those lean green beans are looking nummy, num, num in my tongue. Now, you should have weighed the amount of bacon in there and the amount of bacon grease and plug that in. Ow, we're not gonna take a bite yet. And then you might say, you know what? I have some cheese fries. Oop, somebody's having a game in there. You might say, I want some cheese fries. So, okay, okay, girly, we understand. You're telling us all about your feelings. She is going to town on her brother. She says, girls rule and boys rule. Get him, Callie. Eat his face off. You might say, you know, I want 52 grams, which is two servings. Not quite two servings, but you might want that. So you're going to put it on there, and then you're going to pop that in the microwave when your uh, Mexican bowl is done. So I'll be back after the bowl's done and this is done. So when your Mexican bowl is done, you might say, I think I need a little more salt on it. So you sprinkle a little salt on there. No need to weigh the salt. But then you might say, all right, I'm gonna add some, some of this uh, yogurt on there, but then you might have to pause to blow your nose, so hold on. Okay, so then you might say, yep, I want some of this, I want some of this zero, no fat, no flavor, plain Greek yogurt. So you zero it out and you plop it on. And then you write down, you say, okay, well I got 77 grams of yogurt. So then you're gonna put that into your little tracker app after you scan your original, you know, you scan your stuff. So, you know, the, listen y'all, the weight's not gonna fall off. You can't just, hang on, we're gonna have us a real conversation here in just a second. We're gonna have us a hard to have conversation. It's gonna be real and it's gonna be difficult. And I'm gonna use this because it is Friday, it has been one hell of a week and I had to give out gold stars to everybody for making it through the week. And so we are gonna have a half of a serving of these berries and half of a serving is 70 grams so let's see how much 70 grams is there we go so this is what we're going to eat tonight because like i said it's been a rough one y'all and i am just thankful i survived the week i told god on sunday i'm going to praise you in the storm Whatever storms may come this week. And I did it. I did it. I praised him. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Even whenever it was a poopy day, I'm thankful that I have a job. I'm thankful that I have my dogs. I'm thankful that I have my mama. I'm thankful that I have my friends. I just praise God through all this weird, busy week. It's okay. I survived. And yeah. So you just got to think like that. You can't let life get down. You down. You just always got to say, thank you, Jesus. Some bad stuff can happen, but thank you, God, for getting me through it. Now, hang on, turn the ceiling fan on. I'm getting a little bit wired up. Now, let me tell you, 
I know people say, well, Terry, how did you count this? I don't want to count this. I don't want to measure this. I don't want to weigh this. I have people who in my personal life and they're the same way. And you know what I say? You have to. You have to. If you want to lose weight, you have to. You have to count. You have to weigh. You have to measure. You have to everything. You can't just say, well, I'm going to go out and eat here, and I'm going to go out to eat here, and I'm going to just randomly eat this thing and randomly eat that thing and expect to lose weight. This is a hard conversation. You cannot just not put work into it. I know. I spent 50 years. Okay, I'm 51, so... 40 years trying to lose weight. And you know, when I put the work into it these last four years, that's when the weights come off. So you can't just, I don't want to count this, or I don't want to weigh this, and I don't want to buy this, I don't want to do that. You can't. It doesn't work that way. You have to save yourself. I've told you all, nobody's coming to save you. You have to do it yourself. That's it. That's it. Period. You have to do it for you. If you can't do it for yourself, you can't do it for nobody else either. So that's it. Weigh, track, measure, count, do something. Pick something. Pick whatever you want to pick. Pick Weight Watchers. Pick Keto. Pick Carnivore. Pick something, but be prepared to put in the work. Because you ain't going to lose weight just by him hauling around and eating what you want and not putting the work into it. There you go. That's my two cents. Now, because for the past four years, I didn't eat like I'm eating now, I'm able to eat like I'm eating now. So, it's kind of like uh, Dave Ramsey. He says, if you, you, you have to live like nobody else, which obviously I don't do it because I got credit card bills. But anyway, he says, you have to live like nobody else, meaning you have to not have a fancy car. You have to not have a fancy house. You can't have four dogs. You can't have you know, all of the fancy clothes. You can't have all the different streaming channels. You can't have all these things, So you have to, which everybody has. So you have to live like nobody else does in order for later on, then you can live how other people don't. So I'm able to eat like this now because I spent four years eating like nobody else did. Nobody around me was eating carnivore. Nobody, only, nobody, well, a couple of people around me at work uh, well, one of them, you know, she was weighing stuff and track stuff. But if you're not, you know, if you can't spend that amount of time on yourself, then later on down the road, you're going to be still be binging. You're going to still be having the shakes. You're still going to be eating the French fries. You're still going to be binging. If you can't dedicate this time to yourself, then what's the point? So you got to do it now or you're going to start losing arms and fingers and toes and legs and because the diabetes is going to get you and then you're going to have the strokes and then you're going to have the heart attacks and you're going to have all the things and then it's so far advanced that you can't correct it. So do it now, right now. Okay, I am stepping off my soapbox. Hey, happy Friday evening. I've got my supper here that I'm about to have and um, I will shut up and see you guys next video. Bye.